Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and comparing two palettes for you. These two palettes are recent launches, pretty recent, I think, and I wanted to compare them because they're both around the same price range. They also have similar colors in there as well. They're both warm toned themed palettes, so I figured it would be cool to kind of just compare them, tell you guys which one I like better, kind of the performance, the quality, and things like that, which one I think is worth it if you guys are only willing to get one or the other. So the two palettes that I'm going to be comparing for you guys today and giving you guys a little reviews on are the Tarte Tartlet Toasted palette side by side with the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte palette. I just got both of these for Christmas and I just saw a lot of similarities in them like I said with price, the tones, the amount of shadows in here and stuff like that. So we're going to compare these palettes today. I'm going to give you guys the rundown of everything so let's just get on into it. So the first palette that I'm going to be talking to you guys about today is the Tarte Tartlet Toasted palette. I have my little notebook right here with like the information and everything so if I'm looking down that that is what I'm reading. So first I'm just going to be going over some basics of this palette with you guys. First this palette retails for $46 and you get 12 shadows, 7 mattes, and 5 shimmers. I love the mattes. I do have the Tarte Pro palette as well as the Tartlet and Bloom palette and I do feel like this formula has really just stepped up. It's really nice. The mattes are so pigmented and buttery. When you compare the mattes in this to something like the mattes in the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, I wouldn't say that they're as pigmented but I also would say that these are so much easier to work with and if you're a beginner I would definitely recommend shadows that are formulated like this over something like the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. They still are pigmented don't get me wrong but I think they have the perfect amount of pigmentation that they coat the brush nicely they apply smoothly they're not dry but they're not overly creamy where they're falling apart in the pan or really dusting off your brush. I didn't notice much fallout at all when I was applying the mattes in this palette and as far as the shimmer goes like I said there are also five shimmers in this palette. Palette. I've only tried one of them on my lid but based on swatches I would definitely say that this shade candle down here I wouldn't necessarily know if I would describe this as a shimmer maybe it would be more of like a chunky shimmer there's just something in that candle shade that makes it just a bit flaky a bit gritty it almost has like some chunks of glitter in there it's definitely just a bit chunky and not as smooth as the other shimmers in this palette it's not terrible but it is one of those shades that when I applied it dry it was almost just like a sheer glitter, but I actually have it on my inner corners today. I used a small brush and I applied some Fix Plus with the shadow and it was really opaque. It was very metallic. So I think that is the only color in here that I would say definitely needs a little more help just to get to its full potential. But that honestly doesn't bother me because in most cases I wet my shimmer shades or my metallic shades anyway. And I think it looks really pretty on the inner corner of my eye. Just like the other Tarte palettes, this one does have a faint cocoa scent. It's not as strong as something like the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes, but I do think that these uh, tart lip palettes and tart palettes are just infused with a little bit of cocoa It just gives it that really nice faint scent So when it comes to the overall color scheme of this palette, I would definitely say it's a warm palette But I wouldn't say it's like fiery and red and orangey warm I definitely think it's a beautiful warm brown palette Some of the colors even lean a bit more on the neutral side to me like this shade right here Which is called latte s'more. I would definitely say that those lean a little bit more on the neutral side So it is a warm palette, but like I said, I don't think it's like orangey and fiery but these are honestly my favorite types of warm palettes because I don't find myself using oranges on the lid too much I think that these are like the perfect warm shades and like I said they perform really well but right now I'm gonna be inserting a picture of the swatches left to right on my arm I'm gonna be reading you guys the names as well as how the shadows are described on the website so the first shade in here is s'more and this is a pinky beige sunrise is described as a golden beige Sunset is a bronze. Crackle, I think Crackle is a very interesting shade. It is a brown with gold flecks. I actually have a little bit of Crackle on my outer corner today as well. And it's weird because I feel like when you apply it, you do get those, oh my God. So I just dropped the palette onto carpet if you guys just saw me freak out right there. And actually the pans, the shadows didn't break, thank God, but the pans actually fell out. So I'm not sure if these are like not glued in tightly because I have carpet and it literally fell like a foot so it didn't fall that far so like I said now I'm kind of weary to like travel with this or anything because I'm not sure how well these pans are glued in but I'm probably gonna see if I could like crazy glue them back in there or anything like that but where was I in these swatches? <laughs> oh, okay, so I was talking about the shade Crackle. So like I was saying, it is a matte shade with these gold flecks. And when you first apply that onto the eye, you do initially see the gold flecks, but once you kind of blend it, the gold flakes kind of go away. 
um, and your dress up with the matte brown. I do feel like if you pack the shade on your eye or even wet your brush, those gold flakes are going to stick on the eye. So I just think it's a really versatile shade. I'm not really sure if you would categorize that as a matte or a shimmer. I definitely would describe it as a matte with glitter in it, if that makes any sense. The next two shades are some of my favorites in the palette. Cashmere is a pale peach and warmth is a terracotta. Those are some of my favorites to use in my crease as transition shades. Flame is a metallic rust. Cozy is a brick and candle is a champagne. Latte is also another favorite of mine. That one is really pretty to use in the crease. Simmer is a copper and fireside is a deep plum. I really love that they put this plummy shade in the palette. I definitely think when you look at this palette, someone would expect a deep brown or a black. I was a little skeptical about it at first because I was like, how is this plum going to go with all of these other warm shades in the palette? But it really blends with the shades nicely. I think it's a nice contrast and I think they just go together so well. I have this on the outer corner today mixed with a little bit of that crackle shade and I think it is so pretty it's a great addition to this palette and it's definitely just unique and different from that typical dark brown or black like I mentioned each row is supposed to make it easier to create a look so if you look from left to right you can make a look using this row this row this row so it just makes it easier to kind of group the shadows together it makes it a little bit more beginner friendly if you're not sure what colors to put with what it just makes it easy so you could just look at the palette say I'm gonna use this row on my eyes and you will have a complete look. I'm quickly just touching on the packaging before I move on to the other palette. Tarte just has such gorgeous packaging. They always have this really pretty mirrored gold. It does get some smudges and some fingerprints but it's so easily cleaned. And Tarte's palettes also have some of my favorite mirrors because they always make it a point to make the mirror the whole size of the top flap which I think makes it really convenient if I'm filming a tutorial. A palette with a mirror like this is something I'll reach for just because it's a good size. I could see my whole face in the palette without having to hold it too far away. I just overall I'm really happy with this palette so now I'm gonna be moving on to talking about the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette so like I mentioned these two palettes were just very similar in price as well as just the number of shadows you get in here so the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte palette is $45 compared to the Tarte one which was $46 and you are also getting 12 shadows in here but of course the biggest difference between the shadows is of course in the Just Peachy Mattes we are obviously just getting all matte shades this palette is scented very faintly of peaches and cream not anything too severe but if you are sensitive to Sense. If you are sensitive to peach or fruity scents, I'm not sure if this palette is something that you would want to reach for. On the website, again, similar to the Tarte palette, they did say that the rows were laid out in an ombre layout for easy use. So I'm assuming it's just like the lighter to darker shades in each row. I'm sorry, I'm blinding you guys with the mirror. From the lightest to darker shades in each row, it is easy to create a look. And this row will go together, this row will go together, and so on. As far as the packaging, I really like this as well. I definitely think I like the Tarte packaging better. I feel like the Tarte packaging is a little just more classy, a little bit more slim and sleek. This is more of like a cutesy, fun packaging, but I think I just like the Tarte one a little bit better. As far as the shades in this one, this one definitely leans more peachy and orangey and fiery in the sense of warm shadows. It has a couple browns and a couple neutrals here and there, but again, I feel like the majority of this palette is peach, a little bit of purple, and a little bit of pink. So walking you guys through these shadows from left to right, the first shade is Peach Meringue, and that is described as as an ivory peach tea is a caramel peach cobbler is toasted peach oh my god do these all have the name peach in their name I'm gonna be saying peach so much peach tart is described as a deep brown peach butter is described as a peach cream just peachy is a matte peach peach punch is described as a peach daiquiri I think peach daiquiri is a weird description but anyway just ripe is described as a spiced plum peaches and cream is a peach sherbet Fresh Picked is a ginger peach, peach sangria is a wine, and chocolate dipped is a smoky brown. That was a lot of peach. So those were all the shades in the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte. Like I said, when I would say when you compare these actual palettes, I think that the Tarte palette is a little bit more of the warm neutrals, a little bit more on the bronzy warm side, whereas the Just Peachy Matte palette is a true peach themed palette, and I would definitely say it's warm, but in the more like fiery, pink spectrum of things if that makes any sense to you guys so these palettes are definitely different when you look at them side by side I mean I think you could justify having both of them in your collection I don't think you necessarily need both because for someone like me after testing out both of these palettes I definitely just prefer the Tarte Toasted I think it has more of those warm neutrals that I tend to wear whereas when it comes to something like this I feel like there are just too many of these similar peach shades and I also feel like getting into the peach palette a little bit more when I was testing this out on my 
my eyes. The formula on this is just so dry to me. I don't feel like they're nearly as creamy as the Tarte Toasted palette. To the touch, they do feel creamy and they do feel like they're going to be pigmented on the eye, but just the performance on the eyes, I tried these with so many of my favorite brushes. I actually have them to show you guys here. I used the M433, the M505, the M441, and my E23. You guys know those are just my favorite blending brushes and I could not get these to blend how I wanted them to. I overall just felt that these were like a little bit patchy and a little bit dry, but if you are one that likes the Too Faced formula of shadows, I think you're going to like this. I used to really like the Too Faced formula of shadows a little bit more than I do now. Just after experimenting with things like Tarte palettes and the Anastasia palettes, I do like a little bit more of a creamy pigmented shadow that just blends easier, that just gives me that initial pack of pigment on the initial application. I feel like when I was applying these shadows, I had to go over the same color a couple times to get the intensity that I wanted. So overall, I definitely wouldn't say that this Too Faced Just Peachy Matte palette is like the worst palette that I ever tried, but I definitely just don't think it's my favorite. I'm probably going to go ahead and give this one more chance or two more chances before I decide to return it, which I think I'm going to do. But just from like the times that I did use it, like I said, I just didn't love it. And when I do compare it to the Tarte Toasted, it is just like no, it's just not a close comparison for me. The Tarte Toasted is so much better in my opinion. Like I said, that is what I'm wearing today on my eyes and it's been something that I've been reaching for a lot since I got this on Christmas. So I think which palette you guys like or end up getting or if you want to get both, I think it just depends on your personal preference. Like I said, I just prefer the formula and the colors that are in the Tarte Toasted palette, but some of you might prefer the peachy shades. And I also really quickly just wanted to touch on that I think the Tarte Toasted palette is going to be a little bit more versatile for all skin tones whether you're fair tan medium deep I think that this Too Faced Just Peachy Matte palette some of these lighter shades I'm not sure how these would perform on medium to deeper skin tones I just feel like like these shades over here are very like light fair skin tone friendly but I'm not sure how they would perform on absolutely everyone whereas like I said I just feel like the Tarte is a little bit more versatile in that sense so that is going to complete my review on the Tarte Tartlet Toasted palette as well as the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes like I said I'm not really trying to knock this palette at all just from the comparison I definitely prefer the Tarte one in the end if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and also make sure you guys subscribe before you leave because I would love to have you guys here as always thank you guys so much for watching and of course I will see you in my next one bye guys